what is the purpose of providing column drops? There are two terminologies that is slab drop and column capital. I think you are combining both and mentioning column drop. I don't think there is a column drop. I will answer for both slab drop and column capital. They are provided to increase punching shear resistance and prevent punching shear failure of slabs. A thicker section has better shear stress capacity. The column drops are generally used in flat slabs where there are no beams and the slabs are directly placed on columns. This is similar to placing a sheet of thin paper on the sharp tip of a standing pencil. Here, the pencil is the column and paper is the slab. Considering the paper is stiff, if you load the paper the pencil column is going to punch through the paper. Now if you replace the paper with a notebook and start loading, it will of course sustain more load before failure when compared to the paper. This happens because the stress concentration at the pencil tip is very high which requires higher thickness to avoid failure. Similarly, increasing the slab thickness locally is slab drop. Basically the slab is thicker at the critical shear zone near columns. This same effect can be brought about by column capitals. The column capital is increase of column size where it joins with the slab. They can be used independently or together in the same structure. See below picture for your clarity. Hope I helped. Let me know if you have any queries. To stay up to date with my latest videos make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.